Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read in data from our fly files using Apache Spark. So what is the Apache Spark? Basically, it's a data process engine. It consists of many four components. One is Spark SQL. We are using most for dealing with batch data processing and then Spark Streaming, and those two are for machine learning and something else. So what Apache Spark can do, look like can do a lot of things. Uh, streaming, uh, maybe that one, uh, Elasticsearch, a database, Hadoop, Cassandra, NoSQL, MongoDB NoSQL, and more. So first we need to set up a local Apache Spark environment. So we're gonna need a Java 8 JDK Python uh, 7-zip to unzip the Apache Spark file and then Windows Hadoop environment. Okay, we're gonna start from here. Oh, cool. Set up local environment steps. First, we need to download JDK on this side. Download JDK uh, 68. 68. This file. Just follow the normal instruction, click, 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 then install it. It's the one you once install it, you can check the version. Version. Cool. I already installed it. You should better be saying the same thing. Next is Python. 3.7. Don't go too high. So you just click a uh, uh, note, Python. I will just install the executor. Executor. And the same thing. Once you download and then install it, you can check the version. Screen Python version. Python version 7.7 and then zip Go zip and Apache Spark 2.0. Now uh, they have a, they launched 3.0, so we don't use that one, we're still using 2.0. Get the latest one 2.46. Rebuild with Apache Spark 2.7. That's it. Just click and just select one. Click, you want to download the file similar to this. And then you unzip it. So I already download, download tools, Spark. I download it here, Spark. So I use in the 7 zip to open archive. Double click. And I need a extra to my C drive, C drive. I need a new, new folder, Spark. A Spark Home. Spark, Spark Home. And then you should be able to see, once you actually should see like this. See? Close, go to C drive, C drive, Spark. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Next, when utilities, go here, it's a GitHub repository. 
just one single file here. So I already download. Download to Spark demo. Yeah. So we need a copy. Copy. Make a Hadoop home. C drive as well. New folder. Hadoop. Put in the bin folder. Bin. Yes. Go back to document. And then we need to add two windows users available. Right click on the PC, properties, and advance the system settings, environment, variables. We're gonna new, Hadoop, home. See, Hadoop. Should be Hadoop. Easier and start home. Now the beam folder. Spark home. There's a spark home. And the two variables added here. You spark home. Beam. So we can access it. One more. Hadoop. Hadoop. Home. Bing. Yeah, set up. And let's give a go. Close. Give you a new one. MD, make a bigger screen. Pi Spark. Let's wait. Look like it's running. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's running. Ah, oh, that's a little bit long, eh? Yeah, we eventually we will see something like this, Spark 2.426. Yeah, 2.46, one plus one. Cool, nice. Yeah, we already set up the Windows environment. So we're going to using Visual Studio to read some data from our fly files. So you need to download the Visual Studio code, install the Python extension, and you need to run the install the PySpark for Visual Studio code. Same version as our Windows local environment. I have another document here. Just a click. Since the last step we already installed the Python, we can skip. And then we can download this uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, code is download here for Windows. So I already, I already download. Download tools demo here yeah. and then install it as well. This is still code. And I close anything. Yeah, so we need to install a Python extension. Just go down here, Python, Python, first one. It's just because I already installed it. If you don't install it, just click here, they have some button score installed it. That's all. And then you can issue a terminal. 
Okay, same thing. Python. Good. And if you install the extension, you will be everything here. Say uh, enabled, Taka enabled. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna read some data file. We go to the Spark uh, folder, Spark Home. Spark Home. Examples, source, main, resources. Python. Yeah, resources. So we're gonna read some file from here. So we need to uh, open a folder. Open, uh, I have uh, my project. And open here. Let's make a folder. Give a fly file. Top UI, read, fly file, top UI, read, fly file. Uh, first thing we're gonna import from um, PySpark SQL SQL import Spark session and we have a man plus Spark Spark, Spark session. Good. Give a name. My first spot. App, get or create. Give a name. Any warnings? No, good. And then spark dot create. Give a JSON file. Give a location. JSON. Choice JSON. Type JSON. People. Let's go employee. Save. Let's give a go. It is uh, starting up. Yeah, see, the fires. Save. Okay, we have uh, now we have built the file, so we're going to read from uh, going to run from uh, Windows environment. Copy, pass, asset, screen, press back, the back. Mm. 
so many informations. We're gonna do some ch little bit change to get rid of those info. Yeah, I can read. So we go to Spark folder. Spark, go to configure, and there's a log 4G. Copy, paste, give our original there. Just in case if something broken, we can have a backup. Okay, and then we gonna open that. So by default, see, I just log everything. We just make a arrow. I'm just see arrows. Save, close, close, close. Turn the screen. Let's go. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's read some more files. See, Spark, Home, Example, so Resources. We're going to read some uh, users. Maybe as a uh, okay, file. Mark, read. Okay. Same location. EF underscore uses. Uses show. Else, what else? A people, uh, full uses people. Let's give a people. Mark, root, text, yeah. People. Let's give a go. I wish you could in the screen. Yeah, one, two, three, cool. Let's give it another run as well. Yeah, one, two, three. Cool, that's all for today. Thank you for your watching. If you like and enjoy, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you.